So today is a big day in Halo because it's a new operation day. Woo! Firefight Battle of Reach gives you six new maps to jump in and play. That's the big thing if you're going to jump in and play Halo. What's the new thing to do? It's this. Well, technically four new maps, but we'll get into that. So if you guys like these informational videos, tap like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's get right into it. So what I mean by that is, well, Refuge, which is a big team battle map currently within Halo Infinite, is involved with this place as well as the map Geyer Fight, which is going to be called, or just Geyer, right? Which is another recreation that's currently within the multiplayer experience of Halo Infinite. But they tailed it for Firefight, which is nice to see that, like, be able to reuse content and assets in a certain way to make it something enjoyable to play with. I think having something like this is a nice breath of fresh air when it comes to a firefight style playlist, a firefight update, because it seems like everything has just been like a one new map, maybe, or something like that, made in Forge, utilizing a lot of the same things we've already played a million times over, but this time we actually got some new stuff coming in, which is actually really exciting, so I wanted to just go over that initially first, but also talk about some of the confusion I have when it comes to this update as well. So when we look at it right here saying Firefight King of the Hill has moved to a new location, Reach. But later on in this blog, something weird happens. Uh, so first we'll talk about Refuge, right? It's just the same map as previously. We also have Courtyard from Halo Reach coming in here, a portion of that campaign classic mission right there. And this looks amazing. I mean, might as well just be ripped straight out of Reach. It looks so good. Interesting thing about this though, it says uh, defending sword base is a quintessential classic firefight experience straight out of Halo Reach, which makes me confused because there's specifically a moment within a trailer that was released for this that showcases like, no, there's a hill there. Because within this trailer you see Ray about here. Yeah, that's definitely like a hill that you need to capture within this map. So it's not classic firefight. But maybe there's a variation of classic firefight still within this. I don't know. It just seems like very confusing when you say classic firefight, but then you don't have actually classic firefight. Unless this does some different type of mechanic or something like that. We don't really know for sure until we jump in and start playing. I'm just giving you guys an info of what's happening today. And like I said earlier, there's Geyer fight right here. You also have Powerhouse from Halo Reach coming in, which again, of course, you would think Forge just do an amazing job, and they absolutely did with this map. That's awesome to see. Classic Halo Reach map. Art Empire, which is a firefight map coming back into Halo Infinite. It seems like they've added some extra stuff to it, which looks pretty cool as well. Which I'm liking that, because obviously some new experience is always the best. Uh, Lone Wolf, that final mission, which is like quintessentially like firefight within the campaign put into this as well so that's really awesome to see now while this is still going to be firefight king of the hill there are some interesting things they've done to switch it up a bit so it's not so bleh specifically on the map art empire here which if you scroll down and look a little bit more into it it's a linear firefight king of the hill experience meaning that they said that it's going to play out much more like a campaign mission where you're progressing through a level rather than just kind of staying through an open area and just fighting off wave after wave which can get kind of repetitive and pretty boring pretty fast now that might not seem like a big leap forward but honestly when it comes to refreshing the gameplay experience having a progressive map when it comes to firefight is a really great thing so then like it just changes up the gameplay experiences changes up the map a little bit in some kind of way so then it's not so just one note the entire time you're playing, which can get boring really fast, like I just said. And while we're on the topic of interesting mechanics, there's a really interesting thing with Geyer Fight here that I need to show you from this trailer. Because within this trailer, you can see that this player here picks up some type of an objective and then goes to toss it, creates a ring that's gonna probably be like a damage area or something like that. And you can see mortars start falling down on top of that area. That is an awesome addition to be made when it comes to firefight. Just help mix up the gameplay a little bit, give you some more power trip kind of feels when it comes to playing in firefight. And that's something I'm really excited about seeing like what else could they add into some of these maps and make them much more interesting to play than just shoot G shoots in one room and then you're done. Now I'm definitely going to jump in and play this, give you my thoughts and opinions in my next video about this place where you see like what did 343 really do to make it something interesting. So if you guys want to catch those live streams, you can catch me on Twitch or on YouTube here as well. Just going to make sure you subscribe, just saying. So why is this even like a banner? Why even care? Like people are like, oh, it's a LOL dead game. Like stop playing halo i get these comments every time i play and the thing is what makes me excited about this update in particular 
is because it's a new experience to be had within Halo. Not just like, oh hey, you can still play your typical 4v4 Slayer, but this time on like a Forge map that's like kind of forged decently well enough. I think also just relying on the reach nostalgia as well as a big thing because it, this would be the, uh, what would be the, the 14th anniversary of Reach being released as a game, which obviously one of the most iconic Halo games out there. And a lot of the different Forged levels that they made definitely just look like straight ripped out straight from the campaign, which is incredible. And also it just like lends itself to a little bit more casual fun with Halo, which I think is something that's been missing when it comes to Halo Infinite, mainly just due to the strict skill-based matchmaking that's in the game. I think also given the fact that it's gonna be just like a fun new way to play Halo, right? And the mix-ups that they've made with it, like I talked about earlier in this video, right? When it comes to the progressive level, like on Ardent Pyre, which they say will play out much more like a campaign level rather than in like a firefight mission or something like that that we've had in Halo Infinite so far. And it might not sound like that big of a deal, honestly. Like, okay, you can just, progress through the level big freaking deal it actually does make a big difference at least for me when it comes to gameplay experiences i just think my first experience of that would definitely have to be within infection right with that because there is like the escape the underground version of uh infection which in halo 5 i personally really enjoyed that one a lot i'm not the biggest fan of infection just in general because i find it kind of like firefight a little stale because you just kind of stand out in the open you shoot a bunch of guys and then you you're good to go you don't really feel like the the gameplay experience progresses or anything or builds up to anything it just kind of keeps on staying at one note the entire time like i mentioned earlier and just a simple change like having the ability to just progress the level is going to make a big difference when it comes to just like the gameplay experience of it and I'm really excited about it, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. I definitely will jump in and play it. And also, how about that Geyer fight map now, when it comes to, like, basically looking like you're going to have, like, a Call of Duty-level kill streak you can pick up? Like, that's just going to be fun. I don't care what anybody else says. That's just going to be amazing. Because that's one of the things about Firefight in Halo Infinite right now. It just feels so standard, so tame. It doesn't really go all out when it comes to, like, what you can really pull off when it comes to just pve experiences within halo i feel like it just lends itself just can't be like you know what you jump in you shoot the guys and that's about it and maybe that's all you need when it comes to firefight but for me i just kind of hope for something a little bit more i always like to see like what can 343 do beyond just delivering the core experience you would expect to see when it comes to playing firefight in halo infinite and i would actually say with firefight in halo infinite specifically i actually kind of like the idea of having king of hell thrown into it it just presses the issue on the player right to get them to move around the map to not rely on just like overpowered positioning to really try to feather themselves with the game or really kind of test players and really push them out of their boundaries or their safety level limits you can put it on yourself kind of stuff which i think is awesome i would love to see maybe if you can do like a stronghold style version of firefight as well defend you know points a b and c to make sure that the banished don't take it over but how would you put that out well how would you differentiate that from just regular king of the hill oh, it's, it kind of depends on how you want to do the gameplay of it but i just saying like there's there's more things you can do with it rather than just having like a singular location at all times but you can just see from what we're just playing right now like it can get pretty stale pretty quick because it's like okay you go into one section you find off a bunch of baddies and then you wait for them to respawn and you just kind of rinse and repeat there's no elevation of the gameplay things don't really get more difficult or more interesting like yeah you do have like the boss fights which are kind of cool you know helps again like mix it up a little bit but i don't think it really does enough to really level up or make things even crazier again i'm also just playing on normal here so i can like chat with you guys and talk about my experience with firefight and why this firefight king of the hill halo reach version has been excited compared to just regular firefight which usually would just be kind of like a all right i'm asleep on this kind of feeling but you could even see that from the time of just standing on top of this hill trying to capture this right now that half the team has already quit out and we just have people filling back in because i think people kind of start playing and go like yeah this is kind of boring i'm not liking maybe this version of firefight i'm maybe on this map or something i don't know but either way it's like just not the greatest experience and yeah so we captured the hill on this side of the map and now we're gonna go back to the other side of the map and do the exact same thing it just can feel pretty repetitive like we roasted spartanops because this is exactly what spartanops did 
Even this map was in Spartan Ops back in Halo 4, but doing the same thing by in Halo Infinite this time, I couldn't imagine really being that much better of an experience. But honestly, at this point in Halo Infinite's life cycle, it's kind of like we can't beggars can't be choosers right now. Like, hey, it's some form of content. We can play it and that's good enough for me. Are you excited for a Reach firefight right now within Halo Infinite? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a green heart down below if you guys made it this far in the video. I wanna know who the real ones are within this community out here. Thank you all so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.